Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to your maths lesson today. Can you please start, as we always do, with your Fast Five? So pause the video. It's all times and divides, so you're doing your groups, you're working out your answer. Off you go. <clears throat> so remember, for multiplying, we should have done the first number is how many groups you do, and the second number is how many dots you put in each group. So for five times five, you would have done five circles, five dots in every group, and then counted it all up to get 25. Well done if you said 25. Six times two, we should have got 12. Three times zero, we should have got zero, because whenever we times anything by zero, the answer is zero. Nine times two, we should have got 18. Three times seven, we should have got 21. And 11 times two, we should have got 22. For divide, it's slightly different. The second number is how many groups we do, and the first number is how many dots we share between it. So for 12 divided by three, we should have done three groups and shared 12 dots between it. Okay, so for that, we should have got four. And then for 18 divided by six, three. 35 divided by five, seven. 33 divided by three, 11. For 16 divided by two, eight. And for 40 divided by five, eight as well. So, quick start. What shapes are these? I'm not looking for Maltesers. I know how hungry you probably all are, but don't just say Maltesers. What shape is it? Think about your 3D shapes. What are the names of these shapes? There's two I definitely expect you to get. One I'd be very impressed if you get. Okay, so this one over here is a cylinder. So I said that. Over here, you've got a cuboid. And this one, a bit odd, it's an octagonal prism. An octagonal prism. Not one you really need to know, but fun fact. Okay. Today we're looking specifically at vertices. What's another name for vertices? What's the other thing we call it? My hands are giving you a hint. What do we call vertices? Well done if you said points or you said corners all means the same thing those little points okay so here we have three shapes can you match them to how many edges they have okay before we get on to vertices how many edges do they each have so let's start with the first one you should have paused the video and done it uh we've got one edge at the bottom and one edge at the top so it is two because remember, these aren't edges, they're part of a flat face. Here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine edges, and that is a triangular prism. And then here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So well done if you said six for that pyramid. pyramid. Okay, so do any of these shapes have the same number of vertices as they do edges? Have a look. Do any of them have the same amount? Well done if you said no. Because the cylinder has zero vertices. There's no points there. It's all round. It's all curved. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Not the same as nine. And here we've got one, two, three, four. It's not the same as six. Okay. So unlike in 2D shapes, where a lot of the times the amount of sides you have is the same amount of corners. It's different here when it comes to vertices and edges in 3D shapes. What about these? Either, either of these shapes have the same amount of vertices as it does edges. Pause the video, have a look. What do you think? So let's start with the edges on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight edges. Now let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, not the same. Okay, so for the square base pyramid, not the same. Let's look at the cone. Let's start with edges. We've just got the one edge at the bottom. Yeah, because this is all a flat, this is all a round face. And how many vertices do we have? Just the, just the one vertex. 
Remember, when it's one, we don't say vertices, we say one vertex. What about these? True or false? Two of these shapes have only one vertex. Have a go. True or false? Do two of them have one vertex? Well done if you said false, okay? Because the cone has one vertex, but the sphere and cylinder, zero, zero, okay? What about these? We're asking you to put them in order from smallest amount of vertices to largest. So we've got a cuboid, pyramid, and a triangular prism. Pause the video. Which one comes first? Which one will come last? Okay, so we're going to start with um, the cuboid and how many vertices that has. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for a cuboid. Let's keep that in mind, eight. Over here, we've got one, two, three, four. Four for a pyramid. And then one, two, three, four, five, six for a triangular prism. Okay, so let's put them in order. Four six, eight. We should have got pyramid, triangular prism, cuboid. Well done. Put those in that order. Okay, here we've got a shape. It's a square-based pyramid. Which one of these statements about it is true? Is it a 3D shape with seven edges? Is it a 3D shape with five vertices? Or is it a 3D shape with six faces? Well done, if you said this is a 3D shape with five vertices, because it's got one, two, three, four, five, five vertices. Whereas it's got eight edges, not seven, and it's got five faces, not six. So well done if you said five vertices. Okay, so this is your assignment today. You've got shapes, tell me the name of that shape and how many vertices it has, just count them up. All right, good luck, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.